In this tutorial we'll be creating this colorful stroke reveal. With my text layer selected, I'll select the pen tool and just create a basic shape inside of each of these characters. And once you're completed with one, we'll click away here and make sure we start a new mask. Now if you have two of the same characters, especially next to each other, what I do recommend is one of them we can start from the top here. And the other one I would recommend starting from the bottom and you'll see why once we add the stroke effect. Once we've done the mask, let's add a stroke effect to this layer. And I'll select all mask, unselect stroke sequently, and make sure paint style is set to reveal original image. Now under this icon, we can actually hide the mask so we can see it better. And we can start increasing the brush size here until we see a good result. I will also set the hardness to 100. So 25 should be good enough. I also want to set the spacing to zero here. Now, instead of just increasing the size of the masks to fix all the artifacts, you can actually go here and adjust them manually. So for example, I'll just move this here to fix this gap here. And this way my mask is rather smaller, so it will help with the animation. Now let's set a keyframe for the end here. So I'll set it to zero and go over here and set it to hundred. Now, once we play this back, you can see that the stroke is animated. And if you look here, the first L is actually starting from the top and this one is starting from the bottom. So this is why I recommend you draw them from different directions, especially when they're next to each other. I'll hit U to bring up the keyframes and select this one. Let's hit F9, go into the graph and I'm just gonna speed it up on the beginning like so. And let's play this back. Now let's create the color effect. So I'll create a new solid. We'll call this gradient and I'll add a four color gradient effect. What I do here is I go into point one, alt click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open bracket 0 0.5 or one and comma a thousand. And then we can copy this expression and paste it into each of these points. So on three and four as well. And now we got the colors just dancing around like so. Now we can obviously change this around here. So maybe this will be a bit orangish and this will be light blue. Now I'll duplicate my text layer and I'll set my gradient to be a track map to one of them. So we basically have the colors inside of the stroke and we can select them and just pre-compose them under a single comp and move all attributes. Let's hide this for now. And I'm gonna duplicate my text and if we go into the properties here, we can actually set it to be a stroke and disable the fill. And if I hide this, you can see we only got the outlines here. And here you can set how thick you want this to be. I'll just set it to two. Now I want each of these layers to start at a different time. So first I wanna see the stroke, then I wanna see the gradient. And let me drag this up here. And this will be our main text, which is basically just a white text. Now let's go ahead and add the actual effects. So I'll duplicate my gradient here. So for my first one, I'll just go ahead and add a fast blur and maybe set this to eight. And you can see that we've got this pretty cool color reveal behind the stroke. And on my second layer, I'm gonna add a CC radial fast blur. And we can set this to 95. And it gives us these rays from the gradient we created. And I can lower the opacity here so once the text is revealed, maybe set this to 50 so we don't see much of it. Now I'll create a new adjustment layer and add a deep glow just to give this a nice glow overall here. So lower the settings a bit. And another thing I like to do is if we go into the gradient here and copy our gradient, let's drop it below here and set it to maybe 10 on the opacity. So we've got this matching background as well. And this is how you can create this colorful stroke reveal. I hope you found this tutorial useful, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.